There you are. What took you so long? <laughs> well, anyways, um, like I said in part three, if I have all these upgradability needs, why don't you buy a Mac Pro? Let's take a look. I took the liberty of putting up this. I took the Mac Pro Quad 2.66 and the Mac Pro 8 core, the base models, and compared them to a system that is similar with a custom PC. I took basically all the parts that I had in the custom i7 versus iMac and took out a wireless network, web camera, mouse and keyboard and all that that doesn't come with uh, with uh, the Mac Pro. I did change the graphics card to a 4870. I see here I forgot to copy in some stuff here. And here we go. Okay, the base model of the Mac Pro Quad. It has um, Intel Xeon 2.66 GHz CPU, 3 gigs of RAM, of course fully buffered, 640 gigs of drive. The casing is of course included in the price. Power supply is built in. It has an 18 speed DVD dual layer, uh, NVIDIA GT120 and Firewire 800 and Bluetooth and comes with the Snow Leopard. And the price is $24.99. And the Mac Pro 8 core, different processor, E5520 at 2.26 GHz, two of them. 6 gigs of RAM, 640 gigs of hard drive space, and same 18 speed DVD dueler, same graphics card, same Firewire, same Bluetooth, and of course the same operating system. The price is $32.99. What I did here is take the same motherboard, the Gigabyte, the Intel i7-920, 6 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte of drive, so it actually has more drive space, the Lee & Lee casing, same power supply, same optical drive, 4870 uh, GPU, same FireWire card, same Bluetooth dongle, and the same Windows. And what did I end up with? $1,500.89 plus shipping. Of course, like I told you in, I think it was part one or part two, you also get some rebate, uh, mail-in rebate coupons. So let's say you end up around $1,500 on this system. That's uh, the price. Let's take a look on uh, the specs. I didn't put anything on CPU and because they are so totally different. Of course, Xeon is a server CPU and Intel i7 is like workstation or what what is called. I did include the i7 if you overclock it. So the correct here would be at 3.6 gigahertz. And we'll look at the memory. The cheapest Mac Pro has 3 gigs of memory. Cheapest 8 core has 6 gigs. And my custom has 6 gigs. So it's a green for my custom and 8 core. Hard drive. The custom built PC has 1 terabyte. The Mac Pro Quad and 8 core has 640. RAID controller, that's optional. I think it's $700 for the RAID controller on the, the Mac Pro. And of course, the Gigabyte motherboard has two, so it's better. Optical drive, 18 speed on both the Mac Pros, 24 speed on the custom build. Two gigabit ports on the Mac Pros and on the custom build, so there's a yellow one all. GPU. I would say the 4870 is a little bit better than the GT120. Firewire 800 ports. Oops, I did a mistake here. Should be red. Actually, my rig only has two. The Mac Pro has four. Firewire 400, Mac Pro, Quad, and 8-core has zero. 
probably doesn't need it. Mine has three, so uh, in the total number of firewire ports is five versus four, so it's pretty damn close. USB ports, five on the Mac Pros, ten on the motherboard and casing that I selected. <laughs> Twice as much. And video outputs, it's uh, the GT120 and I also think the 4870 you get in a Mac Pro has one mini display port and one dual link DVI. But um, the 4870 I chose has two dual link DVIs and it has adapters for VGA and HDMI included. And you see the price, $24.99, $32.99, $1500 and 1500 if I spec the uh, Mac Pro up to six, uh, the quad, up to six gigs of RAM, one turbo drive, and a RAID controller, it comes up to three thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven dollars. The eight-core base price is thirty-two ninety-nine. If I spec it up with um, one gig drive and uh, the RAID controller, oh, also the GPU up to 4870, it's on both. It would cost 4427. While my rig, spec'd as my rig, cost $1500. What a shocker! Uh, Geekbench scores around 9400 points, 9500 points on the quad core and my rig, and the eight core. I've seen benchmarks around 13, 14,000 points. And the funny thing is that if you overclock my rig up to 3.6 gigahertz, it performs just or almost just as well as the 8 core Mac Pro. So it means that for the price of a Mac Pro 8 core with the Radeon HD 4870, 1 gig of drive, and RAID controller, I can actually buy three custom PCs and it will perform as much or as uh, nearly almost as much as the Mac Pro 8 core. How about that? Isn't that a lot of bang for the bucks? And a little note, the latest video from Apple Soldier showed him taking his hard drive out of his Mac Pro while it was running. Uh, I'm not sure if you're running the RAID card or software RAID, but if it's software RAID, I would be able to do exactly the same with this $1,500 computer. Why? Because this $1,500 computer, if I take away the $100 for Windows 7 and I buy iLife, and Snow Leopard. I can do every single thing you can do with your Mac Pro. Because this Gigabyte motherboard is probably one of the best motherboards for a Hackintosh. It's so compatible with Snow Leopard you hardly need, need any special drivers. And since the 4870 is supported in Snow Leopard because it comes with a Mac Pro it should work out of the box. So, any day, any day of the week, I would rather build my own i7 for $1500 than buy a Mac Pro for $3299 or $4427 or even for $2499. Well, that's all folks and I wouldn't say I owned anyone, um, I'm just pointing out my my meanings about the subject and of course like I said earlier in part 3 or whatever if you want to have a product you can just unpack, plug it in and start it up and do what you want the iMac is the machine for you. It gives very good performance, has a great LCD display but you must keep in mind that you're kind of you're limited to what Apple has put into this machine. Of course, it's it's all in one. It's 
all parts behind the monitor. You can't put in everything there. I totally understand that. But uh, Apple Soldier, please stop making fun of people that want to buy their own, build their own PCs. They're not idiots. Most of them actually know exactly what they're doing. And because, I mean, if they chose to choose to do something that you wouldn't do, it doesn't mean that they're wrong. It doesn't mean that you're wrong, but it doesn't mean that your way is the right way. I hope you can keep that in mind. OS 10.